You're tuned in to Don't Plan It Live Behind the Scenes. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe and be a part of the team, yeah? What's good fam? Another day, another video. What's going on fam? What's going on? You hear me? Another day above ground equals a beautiful day like I always say. You hear me? So if it's a beautiful day, why not go out and chase your dreams? Why not go out and chase your goals? Why not go out and work on yourself? You hear me? Motivation fam, that's what I'm trying to do. Motivate y'all just like y'all motivate me to get up every day and pick up this camera and get this content, you understand me? To keep us entertained. But what's good though fam? Hope everybody out there having a productive day. I know I am. Um, shout out everybody that's tuned in right now. If you're new to the channel, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Click that notification bell, select all. You understand me? So you get the notification when we do post content because we do post content daily. And you do not want to miss the content, especially when we are doing a don't giveaway. That's right, we doing a don't giveaway. We giving away a 1973 two-door hardtop don't. Very solid starter don't, you understand me? If you wanna check it out, it's a few videos back, something titled with a giveaway car. Check it out, you'll see it. You feel me, it's a very solid car. I know I would love to win that car, you understand me? So that's how you win it. How you enter the contest is basically you subscribe to Don't Plan a YouTube channel, you click the notification bell, and you select all so you can get the notification when we post content because you must watch content, you must watch the videos, you must comment on the videos, you understand me? You basically gotta participate on the channel. And then the giveaway is at when we hit 200,000 subscribers. So you also gotta spread the word and help us get to 200,000 subscribers, you hear me? You gotta spread the word, tell everybody you know that like don'ts about the don't plan it, don't give away, help us get to 200,000 subscribers because at 200,000 subscribers when we giving away the don't. Um, also fam, if you're looking to purchase that merch, there's a link in the description of this video to take you to don'tplanit.com. We'll be able to check out the merch that we have available. We got shirts, hats, hoodies, beanies, all that. You understand me? Other than that, fam, y'all already know, man. We out here, man, working. Behind me, crispy 1975 convertible, you hear me? Crispy 75 vert. And we about to check it out, you hear me? Belong to Panamera Pun. You feel me? We about to check it out, man. Let's go. All right, fam. Here go right here, man. Crispy. 1975 Chevy Caprice convertible, man. This thing right here is super crispy, man. How I say? Crispy clean, crispy clean. You hear me? Y'all drop them comments. Let me know what y'all think, man. Crispy 75 convertible. Drop them comments. Let me know what y'all think, fam. Yes, sir. This car right here belongs to Pun. You hear me down here in Miami, Florida, man. Down here in Miami, Florida. Pun with the crispy 75 vert, you hear me? Pun, what's good, man? What's good, y'all? What's going on, man? Talk to us, man. Talk to us, man. You know, you jump back in, in the don't game. Uh -huh. 75, gangsta year. Yeah. You know, I call this baby the godfather. Uh -huh. You know, kept the OG style, day County style, 24 days. The bowls on there. Mm -hmm. Get the original interior white. Mm -hmm. Black cloth top. Black paint. Love this thing. That's what's up, man. That's what's up, man. What inspired you to get into the dunk game? Man, I'm Dade County born and bred, baby. So I almost had no choice but to get in it once I started getting the little chips in my pocket. <laughs> I, I, hey, I, I, I love Chevy, man. Box Chevy, two do four do hard top. If you got a clean Chevy. I salute you, man. That's what's up, man. That's what's up. Is this your first dunk? No, nah, it's about my about my fifth or sixth dunk. Fifth or sixth dunk? Yeah. Oh wow. But it's my first vert did up. Okay. First vert did up. Okay, okay. So, so uh, what year was it when you had your first dunk? Uh, my first dunk, I got it back in '99, '99, 2000. '99, 2000. Yeah. Been in the game for about 20 years. What, what size wheels you was riding back then? Oh, 20s. 20s. I was on 20s, and then. <laughs> Uh, I had jumped into the Caddy game. That Caddy had had 22 uh -huh. when they first came out. Yeah. But uh, my don't my my don't back then had 20. 
20 years day. I've, I've always been a sport rider, man. Yeah. Do you feel uh, it's a big difference now from versus when you used to ride 20s and now where you got the 24s oh, yeah, on yeah, here? Yeah, 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 yeah. Hell yeah. I, at first, I, I didn't think it was a big difference, but it is, especially when uh, you're hitting them bumps and hitting the corners and stuff. You can't, you know, it's a big difference. Mm -hmm. Big, big difference. Okay, okay. So, uh, so you have, you, oh, you, you've owned, um, all, all your uh, don'ts were verts? No, I, I've had three verts and two hard tops. Two hard tops? Yeah. Okay, 72. okay. 72s. 72s? Yeah, I love 72 hard tops. Okay. And 75 verts. That's all I've ever owned. <laughs> so, seven, so when it comes to hard tops, you like 72s? Yeah. And the first gotta be 75. 75. And, and when I do get my photos, it's gonna be a 71. That's my favorite one. Okay, that's what's up. That's what's up. That's what's up. So now, with, when it comes to hard tops and convertibles, it's like people uh, make it seem like if you have a convertible, like you winning over somebody that has a hard top. Like, how do you feel about that? I, I completely disagree with that. Because mm -hmm. at the end of the day, Rams all cost the same, whether it's going on a photo, two door, or vert. Yeah. Paint cost the same. Interior, music, all nothing changed. But on the vert, I gotta do the top. Mm -hmm. That's it. Mm -hmm. If you gotta, I, I've seen some clean ass, hard ass. To me, one of the hardest dunks I've ever seen was back in my time. Uh, I'm from South Miami Heights, Color Ridge. Okay. My dog Trav had a '73 hard top, chameleon. On some, uh, he had a he had a LT1 motor, mm -hmm. and he had uh, some 20 inch uh, billets, and that's one of the hardest dunks I've ever seen. And that's a hard top. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It don't matter if you got a hard top or if you got a, a fold or if you got a vert. If your shit clean and look good, it, shit, look. I seen some hard tops killing verts. Mm -hmm. Definitely, I understand you know, that. I seen some photos killing verts. <laughs> that don't mean you ain't lying. If, if you ain't shit, lying. If your shit look good, it look good. Man. Yeah. But you know how it is. Dudes nowadays want to. Gonna swing that measuring stick. Oh, I got a vert. This and that. No, man. Look, I, I, I personally got a vert because I got a good deal on it, and I've always wanted one. I ain't gonna lie. But if I would have found if my next car, or another car, I'm, I don't want to get me a photo. I want to mm -hmm. drop me a photo. So That's what's up? That don't mean nothing, man. That's what's up. You got a clean. Up. You got a clean Chevy. You gotta, so, cause I got a vert. You know what I'm saying? Somebody who got a box Chevy can't can't pull up. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You can mm -hmm. go candy, sixes, you can do everything on the on the box, the same thing that I could do in the work. Mm -hmm. So as long as your shit built right and it, it look good, it don't matter what what kind of shit it is. Exactly. Exactly. I definitely understand that. Definitely understand that. How long have you had this vert right here? Uh a little less than a year. Less than a year? Yeah. I got it mid last year, so I'm gonna say about eight to ten months. Eight to ten months? And it took, you know, shout out to Frank, Ultimate Custom the Dog. Everything for me. Mm -hmm. uh, it was at his shop probably for like four, five months. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Not, not all shops drag you. Mm -hmm. There's some that that you know that do their thing. They get you out in a timely fashion. Mm -hmm. That's what's up, man. And uh, so when you got this car, it came black or did you paint it or what? The car came. Uh, I got it from the second owner. 19, a little under uh, 20,000 miles under mm -hmm. original. Uh, yeah, it was it was black. I resprayed it black. Uh, redid the cloth uh, stay fast top, mm -hmm. and uh, just kept the original insides. But uh, you'll see all the I did that. I, I modernized it in the inside. Mm -hmm. Everything is nice and modern in the inside. Digital dash, all that stuff. Uh, haven't put the LS in it yet. That's mm -hmm. another debate. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm gonna go LS, but this 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 350 runs so good. I ain't, I ain't in a rush okay. to swap it out yet. It will be coming, but I, I like how it runs right now. So for the time being, I'm, I'm happy with my little 350. 350. I am running down the track. <laughs> That's what's up, man. That's what's up. Let's go around the car real quick. Man, y'all see it, man. Pun doing this thing, man. Y'all drop them comments, man. This thing here is beautiful. And you say you call this the Godfather, right? The Godfather, baby. The Godfather. Why you call it the Godfather? Just like Michael Corleone. Okay. So it's, it's that 75 gangster here. It's black and white, like the Godfather album cover. Uh huh. It's like, it's like, it's like tuxedo look. a tuxedo look. A tuxedo look. Yeah, 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 yeah. I see what you're saying. Wow. Man, y'all see it, man. This thing right here looks nice. Looks super clean. Stay running the 350 in there. Uh, super clean, man. Wow. Wow.
Hey, you can take us for a spin. All right, fam, we're about to take the Godfather for a spin, you hear me? All right, fam. We taking the Godfather for a spin, you hear me? Godfather ride good. So you've been in the dunk game some time. You've been involved yeah, with the game. I, I, I've been, I had a, a little hiatus, you know, life. Yeah. Had a little downtime for like about 12, 13 years. Yeah. Got myself back together, thank God, praise God always. Praise God. And uh, now I've been back in the game for like about almost two years now. And I love it, man. Like Mitch, never felt like I never left, man. <laughs> <laughs> I feel you, I feel you. Like with the dunk game these days, um, a lot of people make it seem like you gotta have frame off. How do you feel about that? I mean, to each his own, my personal opinion, I'm old school, so yeah. I come back 90s, early 2000s. That was unheard of. Yeah. Like frame off was back then for like uh, cars that you see at Meekum and Barrett Jackson, like uh, you know, like a '69 Charger, uh, you know what I'm saying? A, a '65 yeah. Mustang, stuff like that. Those yeah. were the cars that were going frame off. Yeah. Don'ts weren't really. We weren't doing brakes. We weren't doing frame off. We were just, hey man, you got to We weren't even doing that last swaps like that. Mm -hmm. it, it was just if your shit clean, paint, rims, music. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But nowadays everybody is under the impression that oh, if you don't go frame off, you don't have a hard ass dunk. And, yeah. and I'm here to make that uh, incorrect. <laughs> Plenty of dunks are hard as hell. You don't gotta go frame off. You, yeah. know, you gotta do all that crazy stuff. Exactly. But you know I won't hate on it. It is nice. People that do get it done. You know, it's nice, it ain't a bad thing. It's just the game is involving. Yeah. And I'm cool with that. But don't disrespect what it was before. That's, 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 that's all yeah. I'm saying. Don't do, you know what I'm saying? It's cool. I, 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 I like the frame off, but don't that. think because you went frame off, your shit harder than somebody who's super clean that didn't go frame off. Don't exactly. disrespect the game, because 20 years ago, that was top dog. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of people get that, that misconception that you know, if you ain't got brakes or frame off or LS, you ain't doing nothing in the Chevy game. Man. I definitely like when you said, don't disrespect what it was before, because mm -hmm. I agree with that, because I feel like without what it was before, we wouldn't have now. Exactly. It was just a, it's just a part of the process. Yeah, you gotta evolve. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing wrong with that, but just like like I said, don't, don't disrespect what it was before. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? You could have a, I'm, I'm proving it. I got a nice, a nice clean bird. I ain't frame off. I ain't got bare brakes, wheel wheel brakes, nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? Not saying that I wouldn't do it, but mm -hmm. I just, I feel that if you got a nice clean Chevy, you could come through. You ain't gotta add all that other stuff. Yeah. That's evolved in the game, which ain't nothing wrong with that either. Exactly. What do you think about the dumb game as far as where is it going? Oh, I mean, I mean, I love where it's going. It, it's, it's finally getting, uh, you know, it's becoming more nationwide, more, more, you know, walks of all life yeah. are seeing it more. And, and I like it, you know, there's a couple people that feel that prices are getting outrageous and this and that. It, it, it could be to a certain extent, but it's like a good and bad thing. If you're an owner, you value going up in your vehicle. If you're trying to get in the game, you just gotta stack your chips up a little harder because now it's, it, you know, it's more money to get in. So I, I, I just feel like if you got a clean car, it, it's worth what you're selling it for. I just don't like the people that are selling cars that are like barely hanging on to life mm -hmm. and they trying to you know, sell it for like if it's an A plus car when it's really barely a, a D. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. you know, it's, I think that's something that probably has always been like that, so. Uh, yeah. And as far as in the game, like, people competing with each other, like, basically, somebody did something, so now you feel like you gotta try to outdo them. How do you feel about that? I hate that, man. You gotta build your car for yourself, man. Yeah. My opinion, because I, I, I've been raised, and I, I it, and it's just common sense. There's always gonna be somebody that got more money than you, yeah. that got more women than you, that got more property than you, that got more exactly. everything than you. So, if you building it, because you want to compete with such and such, 
You lost already, man. <laughs> you lost I already. Like that. I like that. <laughs> Y'all hear that, fam? If you if you build in your don't based on what such and such got, you lost already. <laughs> I like that. I like that. You know what I'm saying? So just build it for you, man. What you like. You know what I'm saying? I I I built my car for me. Mm -hmm. So build it for you. I could have went candy or chameleon or whatever. No, yeah. I like classic black clear coat base coat. That's what I wanted to build this car. Mm -hmm. I built it for me. Mm -hmm. You know, some people, you know, you, you, you gotta build it for yourself, man, because there's always gonna be somebody that's, that, you know, that's higher. Yeah. It, that's just life, man. Exactly. It is what it is. Exactly. You gotta build it for yourself, man. Another thing I always ask people is about don't horror stories, right? So the whole, don't horror stories is basically like you went through an issue with a shop, a shop either messed you over, and you know, they made you pay for something twice, or you know, you probably was trying to make an event and your car broke down. You know, something that happened to you while getting in the don't game or while you've been in the don't game. Like, you got any don't horror stories for us? My don't, I think if anybody owns a don't long enough, you're going to get a horror story, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> Whether it's a good one or a bad one, yeah. that's to be determined. But, I mean, I, I got a basic horror story, just uh -huh. uh, the, sometimes being cheap and messing with a, 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 a ranking jank backyard boogie mechanic and mm -hmm. car breaking down on me. You know, my, my first lessons I learned with my first don't. A uh, couple times with nice ladies in a car breaking down and mm -hmm. no AC and you know, uh, I got basic horror stories to be honest with you. Nothing, nothing. I, I've been fortunate that every time uh, MLK popped up when I was, you know, uh, uh, events popped up, yeah. uh, Super Bowl on the beach, Source Awards back in the day on the beach, I, I was able to make everything on time. But yeah. Uh, I've had a couple times, just like anybody with a don't break down. I mean, that's part of the game. It's gonna happen. Yeah. These are 40, 50 year old cars. Yeah, you right about that. You know what I'm saying? But other than that, no, nothing specific. Okay. That was a horror. My ideal with shops, I, I've been, I've been pretty blessed with dealing with shops that I haven't. I've had my headaches where they say a certain, which everybody go through, when they say it's gonna be ready this day and it's not. That's always yeah. gonna happen. So other than that, nothing. Nothing where I almost caught a charge or anything like that. I always tell people that you that you can't really put an expectation, a date on don'ts. Oh, because there's always something like always. You might think you're almost done and boom, and you gotta go rewire something or whatever. Yeah. I don't know. I look at it like this from my experience. If they tell you Wednesday, just look along the line within two weeks after that day. <laughs> and that's if you're lucky. <laughs> yeah. I agree, man. And also with the wheels, right? We noticed that you rode and we, you riding on the um, days. Yes, sir. The, we call we call them the Rolex of wheels. Rolex of wheels, baby. Yeah. Uh, would you ever swim? What made you go with the Rolex of wheels? Oh, like I said, man, I, I, I'm a dating guy. Now I've seen 4G's got they spoke, and I'm not. I, 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 I'm not a. Uh, I'm not gonna keep my. You know, I'm not gonna live in the cave. I, I, I like no 4G spokes. Yeah. They they look nice. It, you know what I'm saying? But mm -hmm. for me, just don't, you can't compare them to things, man. My mm -hmm. opinion. Mm -hmm. they, doesn't mean that they're not nice. Yeah. They're nice. But that's like, you know, you try to compare LeBron to Jordan. You just can't. Jordan was the first one. Mm -hmm. He's the man. And it is what it is. And Dayton's, to me, Rolex of wheels. Uh, the spoke, the 4G spokes could be the Cartier or the Patek. They could be one of those, Audemars. Mm -hmm. But they ain't the Rolex. Mm -hmm. Black exterior with the white interior, white door panel crispy, white seats crispy, nice. Sandman door jam seals with the custom name in them. Sandman dash plate, chrome AC vents, you hear me? Not to mention the white interior is peripherated, you hear me? Peripherated white interior, crispy. 
crispy. Sandman breaking gas pedals. You gotta love it, man. You gotta love it. Sandman light. Light knob. Upgraded dash. Beautiful. Sandman rear view mirror with the dice in the mirror, you hear me? What y'all know about that dice in the mirror? Sandman door jam jury. This 75 is fully equipped, fam. Fully equipped, you hear me? Godfather, ladies and gentlemen. Equipped with two 15s in the trunk, you hear me? For that wham. Two 15s. You don't need much. That's just enough right there, man. Nice clean trunk. I love it, man. The Godfather, man. Yes, sir. There you have it fam, the Godfather.